Hello, I'm Jo from Specialist Language Courses. We are OET premium preparation providers, which means we are experienced and skilled in what we do, helping people achieve success in the OET exam. So in today's video, we're going to look at OET writing and how to select relevant information from the case notes. We will look at things to consider when analyzing the case notes and how to select relevant information. There are several steps involved in writing an OET letter. Step one, read the case notes and find out who you were writing to and why. Step two, decide what information is relevant and what information the reader does not need to know. Analyze the case notes. These first steps will help you fulfill the content and conciseness and clarity criteria. For more information on the steps involved in writing an OET letter, click on the link on the screen. The most important thing to consider when analysing the case notes is the reader of the letter and the reason for writing, the purpose of the letter. This is important because it will help you decide what information is relevant to include. You will find this information at the bottom of the case notes and you should read this information first. Let's take a look at a writing task. Using the information in the case notes, write a discharge letter to Emma Humphrey, the nurse at Somerton Retirement Home, where Mr Smith lives, informing her of the patient's current situation and care required. So in this situation, we find out there is an existing relationship in place. The reader already knows the patient. We can also see what the focus of the letter should be. Let's continue looking at this example. So in this case, the fact that the patient underwent a total right hip replacement is relevant. The reader does need to know this information because it tells them the main treatment received. However, here in the past medical history, details of previous operations are not relevant to the current situation or ongoing care. Also, in this case, the patient's hypertension and medication. Although it's an existing condition, it does not need to be included because the reader already knows this. In the OET exam, there will always be irrelevant information included to distract you. So you need to continuously ask yourself, does the reader need to know this? How do you select information? Well, once you have the reason for writing and the reader clear in your mind, you should then read through the case notes and decide essential information for the reader, so information that is directly related to the care the reader needs to provide. Irrelevant information, information that is not related to this case or information that does not impact the care or course of action to be completed by the reader. Remember, each set of case notes is different. So where past medical history might be relevant for one task, it might be completely irrelevant for another. Let's look at some tools we can use to select information. So one option is to ask yourself some guiding questions, such as, who are you and who are you writing to? Why? The purpose of the letter, for example, to request ongoing care. What is the key information to include? What information is not relevant to the purpose of the letter? Or option two, you can use ISBAR, which stands for identify. So the patient's name, age, and how they're connected to you. So they might be a patient on your ward. Situation, why you're writing about this person to transfer the care to another facility um, and the main medical issue. Background, any relevant parts of the patient's medical history and social background. Assessment, how the patient is now and any treatment they're receiving. And finally, recommendation or request. What do you want the other person to do? For example, monitor the diet and any other information they need to know for ongoing care. Remember, only select information relating to the care to be provided by the reader. For an example of selecting relevant information, click on the link on the screen. Top tips for selecting relevant information. 
Always look at the task at the bottom of the case notes first to find out the reader and the reason for writing. Always keep in mind the person you are writing to. Are there any existing relationships in place? And only select information that's relevant to this case and the care to be provided by the reader. So thanks for watching. If you'd like more tips and strategies on how to prepare for the OET exam, check out our website. See the link below. Please like and share this video so we can help more people achieve success in the OET exam. Don't forget to subscribe to get more videos like this. Bye!